Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to see how to use on validate trigger. Okay, so this is uh, my today's agenda. So I'll be teaching you, I'll be telling you like how to use on validate trigger. And I'll also tell you like how to use if condition in any of your program, like any of your block or code, whatever it may be. And uh, how to use error, error function in BC and also how to set a mandatory field in BC. Okay. So before proceeding, I would like to tell you that this is my GitHub page where I'll be uploading all the um, code which I'm using it in the video to explain you the all the reference code will be available here. You can start this, watch this, spin this. Okay. So the next one is this is the um, my blog so this blog you can see all the uh, information and the instructions which I'm uh, I, ha I have I'm just giving you in a written format okay so here also you can find the information like if you wanted to find the source code if you click here it will redirect you to this particular github page and the video tutorial which from the starting basics to the advanced and everything you can find it here okay so if you click on any article you can see uh, from right from the introduction towards the important um, implementation of that with the code okay I, am, I have also given the code whichever I have used it in my uh, video so you can also s follow my blog so here I have created a table okay the table name is employee uh, this is actually not a valid table name because since already employee table is already there so I have uh, added one more e here okay so while you create a table please ensure that you are creating it <clears throat> you're creating it properly okay and i have created the field that is employee number employee name door and few fields as an option and everything and uh, finally i have also uh, mentioned about the primary key and the secondary key okay and this is a card page which i have created for that employee so i have uh, referred the source table as an employee and i have created three groups one is a basic info about the uh, employee and the second one is contact info and the third one is what general info so here we are going to add a mandatory field for the table that is the field okay that is a mandatory field for this particular um uh, particular um, particular data okay which we are going to input which we are going to input the uh, data to uh, to that particular uh, field okay so for example if you want to show that hashtags okay uh, most probably we might have uh, looked out in um, uh, in in many um, forms that there will be an hashtag symbol which used to a red color hashtag symbol which is used to show the mandatory field so if you want to set that mandatory field just sim sim simply type properties in the properties you can simply type like show mandatory which is equal to true which will give you the hashtag symbol okay but what is the problem here is what it will just show you the hashtag symbol but it will not validate Okay, whether you are entering something or not. So let us just simply save it and execute and see how it is exactly reflecting. Okay, so if you just execute the code. Okay, in and if you press the plus symbol, you can see that this mandatory field you can see. Okay, so the value for this field is required. So this is showing the mandatory field. And if you go somewhere, if you are just moving to anything else no it will accept like it will not exactly look for whether you are entering the value or not okay you can see that the value is saved here okay so if you want to make sure that you are entering the value so it is better to also uh, make it like not blank okay that is it sets a value that specifies whether user must enter a value in the selected field of the text box so you can also set this to true so that uh, your uh, you, that is a user or someone who is entering the data into that particular field is not leaving it blank okay so ensure that you are also uh, writing this property for a specific field so this is what about show mandatory and not blank is equal to true so now let us just move on to the next one which is a trigger on validate okay that is a trigger basically on validate is a trigger which you can apply for a specific field for example this is one field okay and if i am going to write a trigger validation trigger for that so let us see like let us write it for the salary okay let us set the 
minimum amount for the salary so i'm just moving to the salary page and i'm going to write the uh, trigger for this so trigger and if you press control and space you can see what are all the possible validation which are uh, which are that is a possible trigger which are available here so here you can see on validate which means that this particular field will validate for that okay and you have to start with the begin and end okay so here you already know that you can write a message if you want to display some message you can also write a message for that or else now my condition my uh, requirement is what i wanted to uh, make the uh, salary field okay that is a salary should be more that is a basic salary that is the beginning of the salary so uh, definitely if someone is entering zero okay it should not accept right and uh, since uh if we can just make the starting salary as 15000 okay should be more than 15000 okay more than or equal to 15000 then you can just go ahead with the validation using if condition we are going to use what if condition here so if you are newbie to if then i have to tell you how to write the if condition so let us write an example uh this is a general statement this is a general english statement you can just think of it okay so um this is a general statement i'm just writing it here if okay if you study okay if you study is what the condition okay you study you will pass got it so if if is a general uh, uh, term which we are going to use it here general word and you study is what the condition you have to give some condition what happens if that condition met or if the condition is not met so if the condition is met then you will pass okay then you will pass then uh, you will pass this is what the reflection for this particular condition if this condition is true then what will happen what it should happen you will pass okay so this is what the exact uh, thing of an if statement so you have to write with the condition in if statement so what i'm going to write i'm going to write if okay so i wanted to check this record that is salary this should be properly written record dot salary which should be greater than or equal to 15000 okay either it should be 15000 or it should be greater than 15000 okay no one should enter below 15000 okay then then what it has to do if it is greater than or equal to 15000 then they have to accept it okay but it's a very simple one which i can write it if the salary is less than or equal less than 15000 okay less than 15000 then they should not accept the salary okay so what either if you can write a, you can just just display a message like please enter above or equal to 15000 okay so you can write like this but what happens this is a simply a message you are writing okay so it will not properly validate it will validate but it will simply show you a message but it will accept the data let me show you if you execute this let me show you what is happening okay now you can see that uh, if i am just typing here okay uh if you go like this it will show you it validates so if you just delete it okay okay so if you just go like this i'm just typing here um sorry okay if you go and type it okay if you go and type it like uh, 2000 okay if you type it like 2000 what happens no it will show you please enter uh, above or equal to uh, 15000 but even if i click okay it is accepting right it is saving the data okay we, you can see the data which is reflected there so what if i wanted to write if the data should if the salary is below 15000 if someone is entering the salary which is below 15000 it should not accept the salary then i have to print the error message okay so you can write like wrong salary you have entered a wrong salary okay so if i write like error okay so what happens is it will show the error and it will wait for you to accept you have, you to enter the proper um what to say it will wait for you to enter the correct salary there
example and i'm typing here 2000 okay so what is happening it is showing an error it is showing a validation error and it is showing the page has the error so it will not accept you have entered the wrong salary okay it will not accept so only if you enter which is 15000 or something which is greater than 15000 then it will accept it okay i have entered 15000 it is accepting so this is what on validate so if see on validate is just a trigger whatever you are writing inside the logic that will reflect okay so this is all about uh, the on validate trigger okay so inside the field we have various other triggers as well even in this field no in the table field also you can write the trigger and you can see how many triggers are there like on lookup and on validate only two uh, triggers are available in the table triggers and if you go and click on the page you can find various triggers okay if you just type trigger control and space you can see on after lookup on assist edit on control add and on drill down on lookup on validate okay so you can write this much validation function and this is inside the field if you just go out of the field okay the, so this is like uh, if you go out of the field and if you try to write the trigger here okay it will show you a different set of uh, uh, triggers okay like what type of trigger you can write uh, so uh, other type of triggers it will be showing since i have already written the on action trigger it is not showing so it will accept the on action trigger and even if you just go out of all these things like this is a general global one if you write a trigger and press control um, space it will show you the other set of triggers like on after get current record on after get current record get record on close page on delete record on find record in it insert record so you can find various other triggers okay so we can also customize the procedures whichever we just wanted to uh, see so this is the basic uh, functionality of on validate and where you have to write if you wanted to validate some specific field if you wanted to validate uh, the data which you wanted to uh, which is inserted into your table then you can go and write the on validate so ensure that you are writing it in the current correct place okay this is a table right so if you write on validate trigger here what it will happen okay let us try to write the on validate uh, trigger here for employee number okay so I'm just going to write the trigger on validate here and uh, inside that I'm just writing begin and end and I'm just I just wanted to uh, write the if condition if rec dot employee number which which is uh, for example which is greater than uh, it should be greater than 100 okay let us go with this uh, then Okay, sorry. It's a code. It's greater than 100. Then it should show an error message. Okay. Uh, employee. Okay. So I'm just trying to execute this code. So if I give 99. And if I'm trying to move ahead, it is showing employee number should be greater than 100. Okay. So, it is good practice that if you write it, you have to decide which validation should be in the table and which validation should be in the page side, page level. Okay. Hope you uh, understand this concept that is how to use on validate, how to use if, how to use uh, show, uh, that is how to make it mandatory everything so in the next upcoming video we'll be discussing about uh, the important functions which you can use it okay um, because i'm getting resp uh, i'm getting comments like uh, i i have to tell about a set current key set range set filter okay um, so i'll be discussing about all these things in the upcoming videos thank you take care bye bye